Alright, Shalom. Shalom. When the star of souls by giving no praise to Yahweh. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rakaku Dash. Double honor to the apostles of GMS and honors to you, brothers, doing the work in truth, war and sincerity. That's right. Yeah, it's um, Brother Rutter's uh, Muff, GMS London Camp with. Brother Carl Bay. Tan, yeah, you know, I don't really have a. Oh, you know, we've just been re, you know, reasoning and meditating on certain things, just the stress and the hell that we catch in this place, man. How, you know, our, you know, our, our, we're through, our people are through. Right, just as a whole, I'm going to start off with this and, you know, just see where the spirit leads, right? It says, uh, Revelations 21 and 4, it says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Mm. Right, and that's what we, you know, that's what we see. You know, scriptures all say in Hebrews, you know, um, here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Right, hey, we, 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 we don't in, enjoy this place, man. What does this place promote? Wickedness. Two weeks ago, we had to suffer pride, man. Yep. Right, seeing men in, and even even oh, at camp this week, if I'm not mistaken, it was a geezer, right? You could see the guy had demons on him, man. You know, walking around in a fucking dress, man. Hair's all messy, like a crackhead, and all of that shit. But we we're supposed to respect people like this. Kind, kind. Uh, yeah. Bro, you give me uh, Ezekiel nine four real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And go into that, man, because uh, like, hey, this is this is a part of the stuff that we gotta suffer, man. You know, and to top it off, we gotta we gotta still push the videos amongst all of this filth. Mm. Still do the work. Still stay sane mm. in this place. But hey, luckily we have the comfort, which is the scriptures, man, That's to right. get us through. You know the times that we're in. So if you, you know, I'm gonna expound on this precept real quick. Yeah, this is Ezekiel nine and four it says, and Yahweh said unto him, mm -hmm. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Mm, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a That's place. Right. All right, so there's a, hey, there's gonna come a time of great judgment coming real soon. Mm. All right, keep going. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna get a precept. It says uh, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Bingo. And uh, hey, and a part of the abominations that we got to deal with is what transgenderism. Yeah. You know, homosexuality that's been passed among all states in America. Mm. Bestiality. Fourteen states in America. Mm. You know, we got we see androgynous beasts walk past the camp. Yeah. You know, you know, long hair, fucking wearing a dress, lipstick, got blusser and shit, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Man, this is crazy, man. Like we were speaking about the ancient men of old. If they were to look now, yeah. I mean, we're, we're all back here in the reincarnation anyway. But I'm talking in our right minds back then, because yeah. men were more men were more manly back then. Yeah. There's no more there's no more dignity amongst yeah. these men anymore. You know. Everyone's effeminate as hell. It's a, it's a so-called quote-unquote woman's world. Yeah, yeah. You know, and there's so many simps that are giving so much power to, to 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 the effeminate nature in this in this place that, bro, what the hell does a man even? A man can't even be a man. Yeah. These days, you speak with a bit of bass, and everyone just fucking flinches. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You you know you can you can attest to that. You was in the queue one time. <laughs> you know, brothers. You know, brothers got a deep voice. You know, yeah, what? All of a sudden, oh shit! You know, people be clutching their bags soon as they see Jake. You know, we are through, man. We need to get out. Of here. We can't even be a man. You know, <laughs> through out here, man. Yeah, so I'll carry on in Revelation, right? It says, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, mm. and there shall be no more death. And that's hey for the Israelite. That's that's that's. We ain't gonna die anymore. That's right. right? And this is why uh, we should call Amos 3 and 7 says, um, Most I will do nothing but reveal it the secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right. Right? Because the apostles broke it down. It's like, yeah, you know, when the scriptures say everlasting life, it, 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 it basically means exactly that. Hey, oh, death, where is thy sting? Exactly. You know, why are we gonna have everlasting life? Because we ain't gonna be sinning no more. Exactly. Such as the second covenant. Exactly, bro. All right, because what's the because a sin according to the law is what is is the well sin according to the Bible is the breaking of the law. Yeah, you know, and the wages of sin is death. Yeah. So according to the new covenant, if we ain't gonna sin no more, then we ain't gonna die. <laughs> process of elimination, death is out there. Yeah. We gonna be immortal, man. We gonna live forever. Immortals. <laughs> <laughs> right. It says neither sorrow and a sorrow, man. That's that's just our life. Yeah. That's our life. All we do is cry. For whatever and hey, you may not cry tears, but your spirit is crying, man. Mm. Right? You'll see sun irks your spirit, you can't say. Like you might be at work and the guys are talking, making some gay jokes or or, or, or talking about some feminism. Or 
we're just talking about things that irk you. Spit talking about you know stealing another man's woman or whatever. Wicked as hell. Wicked as hell. And you're around these people. You used to just like man, fuck these people, man. Hey, that's why the that's why the Lord said, pray not for these people, bro. Yeah. Get uh, Luke eighteen and seven real yeah, quick. Yeah. Baba, Baba Kisha. That's why the Lord said, what man, pray not for these for these people, man. Lift not up a prayer for them. When you see yeah. these people getting jacked up out here, man. A lot of these guys, hey, really, everyone, the guy, this is the place of judgment. Mm. And people are really being judged for what they've, they've been doing, what they've been doing in their past life yep. and what they're doing in this life, man. Yep. And that's why, look, man, when, when judgment gets played out, man, hey, really, you're supposed to rejoice, man. Yep. All right, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the judgment of the heavenly father and it's always indignation, which is his righteous anger. It's warranted, it's justifiable, whatever happens to these people out here, man. You know, the Lord just ain't gonna take you out just for nothing. You know, the Lord is just. Yep. You know? Hey, hey, the scriptures say something to the effect of the wicked be multiplied for destruction. Man. There you go. Right, so that the Lord can ha have have his way. Hey, the majority of these people out here are wicked, man. That's it. Right, so Luke 18 and 7, shall not the most high avenge his own elect. Mm, so what we looking for? Mm. All right, because people like to say, oh, God, it's all love. But hold on a minute. <laughs> Didn't you read that preset, mm. man? So not the most high avenge is in order for you to get revenge. It means you got a, you're getting your own back on someone. Yeah. For, they did something to you, man. You know all of you people out here that you scoff and scorn, you hate them, that rebuke from the gate. You chat shit against us because we're speaking out against the work, uh, the works of unrighteousness. But John seven and seven, it tells you what the Lord says: what the world cannot hate you, yeah. but me it hateth, yeah. because He testified against the evil works of the world, man. That's right. Loosely paraphrasing. So really, hey, we're coming up. With, the scripture says what? Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's and all right. we're doing is shining out the light amongst dark that's deeds. Right. And you guys can't stand it because you're getting revealed. Yeah. You know? And that's why the Lord says what? Shall he not avenge his yeah. own elect? That's right. I got, I got a quick one. Right. It says, um, hey, because hey, just, just in, in terms of, 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 of revenge in general and how it's righteous, right? It says, uh, Revelation 18 and 6, and reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto a double according to her works, right? Mm. It says in the cup which she had filled, that's talking about that uh, that slavery, right? You know these devils are gonna have to pay for that, but who's giving us the power, right? Because right now, as it is, we ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't go and, and take Esau down, right? Which is why in Zephaniah three and eight it says, "Wait ye upon me, right? Till I rise up to the prayer, right? Right." The scriptures also say that I shall make thee a new threshing instrument, right? So it's through the power of the Lord that we're going to be able to have revenge on our enemies. That's right. Right, and the Lord is going to give that. So, hey, Revelations 2, uh, 26, right? It says, uh, at all, right, 25 to 26. It's, I find it's a lot of quoted. Let, uh, let me get that real quick, Baba Kasha. Hey, well, the scriptures even speak about uh, the nine things that the Lord had judged uh, happy in his heart. Mm -hmm. You know, one to see a joy, of, uh, for a man to have joy over his children. And then the other is for a man to see the fall of his enemy. That's right, that's right. You know, so if the Lord is talking about vengeance and he's talking about uh, righteous judgment, and if he's talking about getting revenge on his enemies, then the, the Lord, surely he's not all about love. Exactly. You know, because hey, at one point the Lord flooded the earth. That's right. At one point the Lord burnt down Sodom and Gomorrah. Exactly. Exactly. So then what you got to say about that? That's right. If the Lord's all, all, if the Lord's all love. And there were, there were women, children, little babies, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, living on the earth at the time of the flood. So what you got to say about that then? Hey, the Lord went in. Of course Right This is, is the one It's Revelation 2.26 And he that overcometh And keepeth my works mm. Unto the end To him will I give power Over the nations Right Right And he shall rule them With a rod of iron But what's the works? Yeah You know what we're doing right now That's, that's why right. we're Look we're, we're feeding the flock man That's right You know We're putting in this work We're getting down for our crown The scripture says what The harvest is plenteous yeah. But the labor is a few man You know a part of keeping the works is enduring into the end. A part of the keeping the works is going out on the highways and the byways, man. In season, uh, teaching the word, being instant in season and out of season, man. Yep. You know, not taking breaks. That's part of the keeping. Look, man, we're standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. That's part of the works. You know. That's right. Yeah, and it says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, mm. even as I received of my father. Right, and like I said that's going into uh, the fact that it's the Lord that's going to give us power, and we're going to get revenge. We're going to be doing it, but it's the Lord that's given us the power to do it, man. Come right. On. So uh, that was the land back of. Uh, I'll go back to Luke eighteen and seven. It says, "Shall not the Messiah avenge his own elect, mm. which cried day and night unto him?" There goes that sign and crying again, yeah. man. 
You know And the thing is The, the scriptures even speak about um, uh, your, your spirit maketh groanings yeah. And utterance That can't be uttered yeah. You know To the, in, in, make intercession for us With the, with the most high yeah. Letting him know That look We're, we're pissed off man yeah. You know but really, hey, one of the one of the qualities of the Lord is to be what long suffering. That's right. So who are we to just to just throw the towel and fuck this? Can't do this anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, if Apostle Gabar always says one of the, one of his sayings, he says what a, a, a live dog is better than a dead lion. Yeah. A lot of these times, the demons will try and you get demons trying to you might as well just fucking end it. You know why do you even want to be here? Demons will try and tell you that shit, man. Yeah. You got to rebuke that yeah. in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You got to keep the scripture says, fight the good fight of faith. That's right. You know, and to earnestly contend. If you're content, if you're a contender, that means that you're you're going to be in some sort of fight. That means you're going to have an opposition. That's right. You know, and the main opposition is the is, is, is Satan, the works of this world, yeah. Esau, the shit that he's pushing out. You know, having uh, splitting up the family home, uh, sending your uh, ch children to school. Making sure that both parents have to go to work so that you, yeah. you know, to make ends meet. That is breaking up the family structure, man. Yeah. Taking uh, power away from the man. Divide and conquer. All of these things are a part of the sign and crying. All of these things are, are ensuring day to day that we can never rest yeah. in this place. That's why it says in what? Micah 2 and 10? Yeah. You know, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. That's right. And it's polluted and it will destroy you with a sword of destruction, man. That's right. You know? I've got a preset It says Ephesians 6 and 10 mm. Finally my brethren Be strong in the Lord And in the power of his might That's right Put on the whole armour Of the Mosai That ye may be able To stand against The wiles of the devil mm. Right And it's the point Before we wrestle Not against flesh and blood Right So this is why You ain't supposed to be carnal man Right Because our, our, our battle Ain't with flesh and blood Right Our battle Right Is against principalities Against powers Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, damn right. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, right. And that's that's who we battle against. We battle against spiritual wickedness in high places on on a on a, on a daily basis, man. Oh yeah, right. Like the brother saying, you get demons trying to fuck with you, right. You get a uh, what do you call? You've got these the you know these devils you know casting spells against us, man. Mm -hmm. Right, trying to make us go off, trying to make us do this, trying to make us do that. Well that's, well, that's what's that? What's that a part of, man? That's part of the wiles. Yeah. You know, because when you go into that wiles, the word wiles, it it, it means trickery, man. Mm. You know, all of this, all of these levels of deceit, trickery, the tricks that the devil plays on you to try and sift. Because remember, man, the scriptures speak about Satan being like a roaring lion. Yeah. You know, and he's wandering about the earth, seeking those that he may devour. Mm. And a lion literally wants to go for all your weak points, man. That's right. You know, a lion literally wants to go for all your weak points. So we we gotta. What you gotta understand is you gotta you gotta analyze yourself constantly in order for you to know your weak points in order to work on them, yeah. to pray on them, fast if need be. Because remember, certain demons you can't defeat just by praying, you gotta fast mm -hmm. too. It's not just enough to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna pray and just hope for the best. No, not all the time is that the case because there's certain demons that are just too strong for you to, to, to be able to handle on your own. Yep. You right. know? That's right. That's right. It's um so yeah, we read a read a few. So let me finish off. What you call it? Kind. Revelation. It's Revelation twenty one and four says, "And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, mm -hmm. and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying." Oh man, we cry all day, man. I like say, spirit cries. Right, our spirits cry. Oh yeah. Right, and then hey, we we cry physically, man. Right, it says, "Neither shall there be any more pain." For the former things uh, are passed away. Yep. Right. So yeah, man. Hey, no, no more pain or anything, man. In the kingdom of heaven, things are gonna be out. We gonna be out in the kingdom of heaven. Hey, well, we're gonna finally, we're gonna finally be at rest. Yeah. In fact, I got a precept here. Let me yeah. get this. Um, Hebrews, chapter four. Uh, I'm gonna start from verse verse nine, and it says there. There, there, there remaineth therefore a rest unto the people of the Most High. For he that is entered into his rest, he have also ceased from his own works, mm. as the Most High did from his. Let us, let us, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the example of unbelief. Mm. And that's what really keeps us going in this, man. It's the faith, you know, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, and that's the reason why we labor because mm. we can see. The, 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 the quid pro quo Yeah We can see the this for that We yeah, can yeah, see yeah. What's gonna What we're gonna get in return For what we do man And, and not only that But it's the terror of the Lord Yeah 
Not only that, do, hey, man. this exactly knowing therefore the terror of the Lord that like the brother said, you know, like the scriptures say, do we persuade men? This ain't of our doing, man. Mm. We're shit scared, bro. Like, and I tell you straight, look, man. The, the, the scripture says what Proverbs one and seven, mm. the fear of the Lord being the beginning of wisdom, man, yeah. of knowledge. But fools despise that. Fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. You can't be one of those guys that's just hard headed going through your life, man. You got to be. When I was in the world, I was searching for something. Mm. I was like, what am I even put here for? Like, what yeah. do I? What are we supposed to do? We just are we just born to live and yeah. work and is this pay it? Is this it? Yeah. Is this is this all that is cropped up to be? Is this life? No. Now we finally got the answers. Now what are you gonna do with that information? What are you going to do with the depths of the riches? What are you going to do? The Lord said, occupy till he comes. Yeah. The Lord said, go out, yeah, and you've got to flip this talent. You've got to flip these coins, these pounds. And he's going to require it with usury, man. That's why we can't get getting weak. Positive heart, speaking on the streets, man. He was talking about, yeah. you know, being lukewarm. You know, brothers got to be staying on fire, man. And the only way you're going to do that is if you really are of the elect and if you've got the faith, yeah. you know, and you keep on pushing, man, and yeah. laboring to enter into that rest, which is what we hope for. You know? That's right. Because we can't rest in this place. You know, this place will destroy us, man. In fact, if it was left to Esau, the scripture says there's yeah, no... Yeah, there's no flesh to be saved. That's right. Yep. You know, that's why we need salvation. We can't do it on our own. Yeah. It says, you know? um, Matthew 19, 27, says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. Oh, yeah. What shall we have therefore? Right, so I was like, Lord, yeah, you know, we've been we've been working, you know, so what, what will we have in return? Mm -hmm. and I said, and Yahusha said unto them, Verily I say unto you that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? Mm. So so basically it's a reward for the work that we're doing. Huh? Right? It says, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. Oh, or mother or father. Yeah. Or father or mother. Yeah. Right? What did Yahweh Shai when, when they were looking for him for what he went missing for about three days? Mm. They said, My your father and my your father and I have been looking for you. You know, they you put us through this story. He goes, Look, man, I'm about how is it that you sought me? Mm. I'm about my father's business. The, mm. the Lord was about doing this work. Yeah. And he was about forsaking all of that. He was like, look, man, let the dead bury the dead. Exactly. He was saying all of that kind of stuff. It's a cold cut, man. That's let a cold bed, cut, bro. Dead. That's a cold cut. So, you know, it's a, a guy that ain't really like looking for, you know, uh, uh, to, to be taught or any, or to, to, to basically humble himself, right, is, is really going to buck up against that. That's yeah. a stumbling block to him. Oh, my mom, and my sisters, and my brothers. Like, family, bro, your family, a lot of people out here are going to die, man. Yeah. And that's, a, that's another cold hard truth that you're going to have to understand in this thing. Like the scripture says, seek your own salvation mm. with fear and trembling. If your household gets saved, that's off the mercy of your yeah, exactly. Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Exactly. That ain't of your will. Exactly. You can't even save yourself, let alone yeah. your family. You can't even, look, man, you might have a son or daughter. You can't even save them. Mm. You better hope, you just pray f to, to, to the Most High that he, he has mercy on them. Yeah. It's not of your doing. You can't just go to an angel and say, look, spare him. Yeah. The angel, look, he's just a messenger. He's yeah, going to do whatever the Lord exactly, told him to do. Exactly. And in hey, that day. Hey, scriptures say that the angels, these spirits that the oh, Lord's created, they, they love to do the will of the Lord. They appease the appease. wrath of him. They, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't do a, 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 you know, a millimeter out, you know, not, not just a little too. They don't make, make it easy. They don't make it too hard. They do uh, as the Lord said, do. That's what they do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's right. I get pre right. quick precept. Yep. Ephesians chapter 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through mm. faith. But this is the point. And not that of yourselves. Mm. It is a gift of your power. That's right. Let me read it again. For by grace are you, sa are you saved through faith. And faith is the what? Substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And not only that, but it tells you in John 3 and 27, a man can receive nothing except to be given yeah. him from the heavenly Father. Yeah, and, and, and if I can just uh, interject and say that's why you, you, you gotta just fear the Lord because you can't please the Lord without faith. Mm. Yeah, oh. He's the only one who can give it to you. Yep. Uh, I, I got it here. Oh, there Hebrews, you go. There you go. Hebrews eleven and six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yep. But he that cometh to the most I must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Mm. Diligently seek him. Mm. You know, so you gotta give diligence. The scriptures speak about, oh, in Peter's, while the rare for brethren, second Peter's. Yeah. You know, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So second Peter's one and ten. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Mm. 
You know, and that's a part of you know. That's why we said earlier you got to earnestly contend for the faith. Uh, uh, contending for the faith. That's part of being diligent, man. Mm. You know, you think Floyd Mayweather got the fifty exactly. and all by not being exactly. diligent, man. Exactly. Any great that, that's actually made it up to the top, do you really think that they got there by just not being diligent? So how much more, if, it, if, if Floyd Mayweather done that and he applied that in boxing, you mean to tell me that Floyd Mayweather's more passionate about boxing than you are about receiving a crown? Mm. That you are about uh, not getting destroyed out here by a missile or, or worse? Or mm. whatever, man? Yeah. You know, because there's many different ways that these angels can take you out, man. The Lord said he was going to choose your delusions. Yeah. Your worst right. fears he can that's bring right. upon you, man. And that's why you got to fear the Lord, man. That's why you got to fear the Lord, because the Lord can take you out and just bug you out. Scripture saying, Surat 25, 25, give me any plague, mm. the plague of the heart, and the heart represents mind, right? Yep, oh, right. 25 and 7. Yep, yep, yep. It says, yes, slot. Yep, yep. Right. Uh, you, you, you call me, you, you call for that camp. I think, I remember, it was yeah. 25 and 7. So let me get it for you real quick, man. Uh, Sirach chapter 25 uh, In plague oh, It's not even it still Try 13 And do we say 13 No it was 13 Yeah you're right Yeah that's right mm -hmm. Yep Sirach chapter 25 and 13 Give me any plague But the plague of the heart And any wickedness But the wickedness of a woman Mm. And we already know what the word heart means. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's your mind. Love, yeah. You know, yeah, in the Hebrew it's love, which is your mind. You know? Because the Lord can really, look, He can really play with your mind, man. He can really fuck with you, man. Like, you might have a phobia of, of I don't know, bumblebees, or mm. you might have vertigo. You might be afraid of heights. The Lord can actually put a spirit on an angel to just grab you up and <laughs> dangle you off the Eiffel Tower, man. Yeah. You know, just have you there and have a demon just flying around you at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with keep like dropping you catch, keep dropping you catch, yeah, all of that, man. And he could actually make you think it's eternity, but yeah, really, yeah, yeah. you just standing on the ground and someone's looking at you like, what the fuck's going yeah, on with this guy? Yeah, this guy's bugged out. Or they might be getting fucked with at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, look, because the times, the, the, the times are coming, man. It's gonna be like no other. That's right. The Lord said He was gonna plague Egypt with uh, uh, it, 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 smart Egypt, with smart Egypt with before. plagues as before. The water, yeah, you know, and you know what happened in in, in in Egypt, man. Yeah, hey, it was crazy, man. Apparitions, yeah. You know? hey, the Lord went in. That's the right. Lord went in, and that's what that was. Some spirits, yeah, man. You know, created for vengeance that were getting down, man. That's right. You know, in fact, let me get uh, this is Sirach, chapter thirty nine and twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that right. made them. And it says, fire and hell and famine and death. Mm. All these were created for vengeance. That's right. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. That's right. These things the Lord has set up. So I always say this, hold on a minute. You got a, you got a fucking, even a child can be angry. Yeah. All right, a grown ass man can be angry. A child can be angry, but right? The but then the Most High, mm, he's just all point. about, come, my child. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, good he's point. got his arms open wide, twenty four seven. Yes, no matter what you do, you can worship other gods, and I still love. No, bro, why do you think we're in captivity to this day? Exactly, because we Did fucked you, up. Didn't you read Deuteronomy twenty eight? And the Lord weren't happy with us, man. <laughs> that's it, bro. The Lord went. Look, man. The Lord went dealing with disobedient. Jake's man, mm. he went dealing with disobedient Israelites, and that's the reason why he's fucked us over now, man. That's right. You know, and that's why you gotta repent because we got a lot to pay for. Yeah. Really, we deserve death. All the sign and crying that we spoke about in this video, uh, 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 you know, leading up to this point, hey, really and truly, we deserve this, man. Yeah. Because we got to pay for a lot of things that we've doing in our past lives and in this life, yeah. man. The scripture says, ye have not resisted unto blood. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is the author and finisher of our faith. His visage was marred more than any man. Emmett Till ain't got shit on yeah. what happened to yeah. the Lord. So as far as I'm concerned, ain't no one of us have got the right, right? But at the end of the day, you know, we're in the flesh. We're going to yeah. complain. We're going to complain. Because, oh, hey, so no chastening at the point. moment seems yeah. to be joyful, yeah. you know? But, hey, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, he chasteneth man. That's right. And scourgeth every son that he receiveth, man. That's right. And that's what we got to remember, you know? That's what keep you know you gotta keep your eyes single in this man and remember what you're in this for man. Yep. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we weren't brought over here. You weren't brought over to the Americas for a vacation. Mm. We weren't brought over here to London just to have a good time. Nah, man, mm. we're in this we're yet this day in our captivity. That's right. 
you know and we're here to serve it man that's right so you got anything else you know hey like I said we cry but the Lord's coming and bringing better times man oh yeah hey that's the wiping away the all tears yeah. from our eyes Hey, cause let's hey, let's let's face it, man. Brothers be going through things, yeah. and brothers do be shedding tears. Brothers do be sighing and crying. They might close the door, you know. You might close behind closed doors. A brother might be bust straight out bawling. Yeah. But the Lord said it's okay. He said, look, turn unto me with weeping and yeah. fasting, man. Yeah. You know, when you see a son and he coming all up contrite to you, we were speaking about this before. Mm. When your son's all humble and contrite, and he asks you in humility for something that he longs for. He's just asking you for a bit of mercy. You're more likely to give it to him because exactly. he's humble. Exactly. That's exactly. why the scripture says the meek shall inherit the exactly. earth. But when a brother's, when, 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 when your son's coming up to you all proud, you know, ain't even asking you anymore, coming home all hours of the night, doing his own thing, you know, I ain't fucking, yeah. you, you know, fuck off. You don't deserve shit yeah, from me. Yeah, fuck off, man. You know, which goes, what? Yeah. Well, that goes back to putting on the whole armor exactly. because we need to, brothers need to be praying. Exactly. You know? Praying and fasting. Praying and fasting, weeping. The Lord sees, man. The Lord knows, right? Didn't in Exodus uh, the fifth chapter, uh, but I believe it's the fifth chapter. The, the scripture says the cries of the the Israelites ended up into the ears of the Lord. Yeah. And so you know he he wanted to deliver us from that situation. He heard our afflictions. Yeah. You know he heard our the cries of my people have come up to me. Yeah. I believe that's what you know loosely paraphrasing that's what happened, man. And the Lord delivered us out of Egypt. Yeah. All right. And what's spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt? America. Babylon the Great, yeah. America. That city of confusion which propagates gay marriage, sodomy. On all of these things, man, and he's gonna deliver us again. And then shall it be said, look, man, what Jeremiah 16 and 4. Yeah. In fact, I might as well see as a spirit. Mm. Get that get that last one here. Jeremiah. Because there's gonna be a new high holy day in the kingdom. You know? And we've got to praise you how about Shim Shai. It says Jeremiah 16 and 14. It's a lot. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that it shall no more be said. The Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the yeah, Lord yeah. Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. That's right. Right? And from and from the land, all the lands where he had driven them. Mm. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah. Right? And that land of the north is talking about America, America. man. America. Okay? And that's that new high holy day. We're going to be, look, we're going to be celebrating. We got delivered from America, that's man. That's right. We got delivered out of Babylon the Great. All right, and all the lands where we were driven. Why were we were driven there? Because we disobeyed. We drew him on only 28, 64. Yeah. We've been scattered, and it's a part of the curses. And that's why not every Israelite looks the same. You know? That's why we all look different. I mean, we can go on so much. There's so yeah. much to talk about, man. You know? That's why, look, you can't sit there. It's not enough to be like, oh, I ain't got no ideas. Bro, read the scriptures. The scripture says, blessed if he that read it, yeah. man. There's so much to go into. There's so much to talk about. There's plenty of sighing and crying to do on air, man. You know? There's plen sure. plenty of uh, sheep that need feeding, you sure. know? So with that, man, you know, I ain't got anything else. Let's yeah, probably, you know. Lord will you edify. That's right, man. Lord willing, you were fed, mm -hmm. you know? Because, hey, to be honest, I know I was. <laughs> hey, that's the thing. You do a video, you get fed, man. You might, spirit might jump and you say something and you're like, yo. You know? Yeah. Hey, well, it's, the Lord says what? If anyone, if any man come and... In fact, let me, can I get this last one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and, op and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him mm. and he with me. And this is what we're doing right now. We're supping with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And the Lord said, what? When two or three are gathered, there I am. There I am. You know? That's right. So that's, that's all I got, man. You know? All right. So, hey, Lord, will you edified? Till the next time, we'll say Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. shalom.